Hello and welcome back to OAP Gaming. In today's episode, we're going to be exploring Berich Valtel, which we opened up in the uh, last video. And in there, we're going to be getting uh, completing some guild tasks. We want five fossilized tree and three Titicata leaves. There's also a couple of uh, treasure chests in here, which we'll be opening up as well. Because remember, they are also part of a d guild task. So, we'll get this first. Fossilized tree we get from here. Come on out. Uh, okay, later. If it gives us it, that is. Hmm? All right. Awesome. There's one of them. I'm doing this in real time to show you just how long or short it can actually be sometimes when you go digging. Hmm? get them. That's fine. So while we're here, we'll just pick up the other couple of treasure chests. There's one here. And there's one over here. There's also an alternate digging point if you want to be farming for gold. And that's just there where that yarnard is there. So we'll exit. If you come and exit this way, the next area will automatically open up when it becomes available. It doesn't become available just yet, but you won't have to talk to this Yama traveller again for it to open up. But for that, you have to open up all the Saibun Burr Paths. We've opened up a couple of them at the minute, but when you opened all of them up, if you've spoken to him, another area will automatically appear on the map. So let's go and try and get these fossilized trees. We just want four of them now. Maybe this time it will give us them. Like I say, I'm doing it in real time. Just to show you how long it can actually take to get certain items you need. Okay, later. Normally what I would do is I would save, do it, and if I didn't get them I would just reload until I did. Alright! Awesome! <sighs> One more. Hmm? Excellent. 
Let's just... Now then, can we get really lucky and get the Titicaca leads? We want three of them, and we've got four digs left. And the Titicaca leads are just round here. Come on! Uh, okay, later. <sighs> hmm? All right! Awesome! Well, there's one. As you can see, it can sometimes take a while to get what you want. But we should get them next time. Oh, we're not good enough for him yet. But that is a guild task as well, to kill the golden ape, which we will be doing. Third time's a charm, as they say. So let's see if it gives them this time. Come on out! And there we get them first time. Okay, Look at that. How come it do that last time? Both the Titicaca leaves and the fossilized trees, they are a guild task. So that's another couple of guild tasks taken care of. We are now going to open up the map, specifically Crook Fen, where we will be able to pick up another morsel, do another guild task, and open up another area. Again, we are avoiding everything apart from, I'll show you, we, we do have, um, oh, there's a treasure chest, there it is. Sometimes it's hard to spot that one. Right. Let's do this. Yeah! We need to kill seven of these gluttons. These are a guild task. Oh, I am. I keep meaning to change that order. I'll have to do it after this. Come on, let's kick some A. You make this? The harder they fall. So that. Vegas group. Nope. I've got no choice. Okay. Play it by here.
Let's keep up this rhythm for the next battle. I know I'm good. There's still plenty of power I left in these old bones. What a glorious day! And because they got the cavalry call, we got the seven we needed. So, we can move on and pick up the morsel which is just here. Come on out! Hmm? Awesome! Okay, later. So that puts us up to 12 digs, which means there are nine more morsels to find because you get a grand total of 21 digs in a single playthrough. You get the map. As I keep saying, don't forget to open up the treasure chest because they are, they are a, a guild task. Okay, later. I'm going out of this exit here. And why have I come here? Apart from the fact that I'm an idiot. <laughs> I do it every time, even though I know there's nothing there. I do it every time. Oh, we'll pick that up while we're here. Yes, this will open up Melfina. Okay, later. An antique pot. We need three of them. Because they had a guild task. And there's Malfina opened up. So what we are going to do now. Uh do I want you to have it? That's the thing. Do I? Um Go on then, David, I'll give you it. I don't normally allow him to have it, but this time I will. So now, what are we doing? Well, we are going to do some more guild tasks. And for that, we have to go back to Numa Mines. where you will see another area has opened up. We will be coming back here in a future video to do to take these on because they are the Godwood grinds. But for now, we just want to come to the dig point here. Come on out! Okay, later. Hmm? Funny. Hmm? Uh. You know, you max him out and you still get things like that. It's annoying. Uh. Look at this. It really annoys me. Hmm? So we got some primordial alloy which we use for weapon upgrades 
and the voltaic crystal is a guild task and we wanted four of them and we've got seven so we got what we want there we are now going down here because we want to pick up the blood chalice There can sometimes be a rare. We'll pick that up while we're here. Come on out. Okay, later. And get the treasure chest. No, we don't want you, thank you very much. There can sometimes be a rare in here, which we will do our best to avoid. Come on out! Oh, nice bit okay. of gold there. And there's the blood chalice. Weapon plus two and physical extra hit plus two. A nice little accessory for one of your party members, if you so desire. We can now get out of here, and the best thing about this is there's a teleporter. Right. So that's quite a few guild tasks we've got done already, but we are not done yet. Oh no. We are going now to the heroic ramparts where we can pick up another morsel. And remember I mentioned the antique pots? Well, this is where we get the antique pots from. We want three of them, and that is for, so we can uh, craft the ram skull. And we would also be looking for beast eggs, which is a weapon, which is a component for a weapon upgrade. Oh, when I can get there, here we go. This place has two exits. One will take you to Gore, and one will take you to Nagapur. So, the antique pots, which we're looking for, will just be laying on the ground. So we'll go out of this exit first. But I will show you the location of the beast eggs. Believe it or not, they're called beast eggs, but you can get them here in this tree. Believe it or not. Come on out. Mm -hmm. And we want three of them. All right. Awesome. Oh look, tick tick tackling. Okay, later. Hmm. Hmm? All right. Awesome. Well, it's not giving us them. Hmm? All right. Awesome. Beast take six. We only needed the three. Get away from him. We want that. That. I must have already marked the beast eggs. Oh, I haven't. That's unusual. Why not? Oh, there we go. 
So we will exit and come back in. And that opens up Gore. So now we will leave by the other exit, which will open up Nagapur. And we will also get the morsel. And hopefully the antique pots. The morsel is over there, you can see it on the ground. Come on out! Hmm? Awesome! Okay, later. And there is another treasure chest over here. I have seen people miss this one because it's here and a lot of people don't bother running up here. But there's one here. Greaves of Growling, physical extra hit plus one and a plus five percent to your speed. So depending how you're playing the game, that could be a good accessory for you or for one of your teammates. We will ignore that dragon. Come on out! Antique pot. Okay, later. We need three of them, so we've got two, so we need one more. So, there can be, in this area here, but it's not guaranteed, so... You just have to check, and hopefully, if you're lucky, you'll find them. We only need the three. We have two, which means we're going to have to come back in. Okay. Not a problem. So this will now open up Nagapur. So we just want one more antique pot, okay. Like I say, I'm doing this in real time for a change, just to show you how long it can take. I mean, sometimes I've come in here and I get them straight away. Other times, I've had to come in a, a couple of occasions. So This game is heavily RNG based, so it is basically down to the RNG, so let's see if it's give us any antique pots this time. Nothing there. Nothing there. So see there was nothing here in this area last time, but is this Come my antique out. pot? It is indeed. So we now okay, have the later. three antique pots, which they are for crafting the ram skull. Getting a lot of guild tasks done in this uh, particular video. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go to Nagapur. Oops.
and she will want even more money off of us. Be careful. May the God Emperor be with you. We want Megalaeus because she's a good healer and they're going to join the party. So before I forget, Now let's talk to Emma. talk to Pegasus. May I announce our honored guest, 
commander of the remnants handed down by the God Emperor himself, the Gay Bolg and Valeria Hart, the Marquis of Athlum, Lord David Nassau! Well met, Marquis. Am I? So coming back here kicks off that cutscene and now what we have to do we have to go back to Sudanarm and we have to talk to Oswald again who gives us some nice information. Now we go back to Pub Barn. He's coming! The conqueror's on the move! What? Lord David. Emma, Pargus, rush. We must leave now. What's going on? Where's Wilfred? Our meeting is being postponed. The Conqueror is marching on Celepolay. <laughs> We've been called back as support. We return to Arthlam, then prepare for battle. Yes, yes my lord. lord. Rush. Arena's here. Apparently, she's in Duke Ermion's custody. I suppose you can rest easy, knowing she's out of Wagram's hands. What? No! <coughs> what you take with you? Excuse me. Well, I didn't meet with her directly. What's wrong? Arena. Arena's got Marion's blessing. And you think Lord Ermion is aware of this? Wait, where are you going? I have to go save her. I can't let him use her power. Calm down and think for a moment. How are you to save her if you don't even know where to find her? <laughs> Rush, there is only one thing we can do right now. We must stop this war before anyone has a chance to use her power. I promise you, we will come back for Arena. Fine. So now we need to go back to Athlon. Now just a word of warning, do not, I repeat, do not go to Athlon Castle unless you're ready to move the story on. We're not going to move the story on because we want to do other things first. But if you go to the castle, you will move the story on. So that's, I'll just make sure we've got all our herbs. going to check something yes. yes as you can see
These people have better... Not that one. Now then, I'm sure there's somebody else. But I can't remember who. Is it Sotheby? Oh, he's got a good one there. I can't remember who. Well, that's fine. So let's swap those people out. Replace unit. You, you idiot. better stats the hexes than the others and you've got spark right so you need to replace you can always count on me that person there What we're going to be doing very shortly is we're going to be getting the steel or oil flight and landing sector carapace for me hours to put that up to a commander's tabozin, which is a guild task. But before we do that, we are just going to talk to Loki and Nora. You have to keep talking to them so that they opens up their side quest. Now that kicks it off. You have to keep coming in and out, you have to talk to them five times. We're not going to do that here. <coughs> Excuse me. But every time we come back to Athlan, which is a lot, that will add, it will count towards the five. And eventually, their side quest will open up. So there we go. That's that done. So we've started that. So now, as I said, we want to get the components for Minawas to upgrade the weapon. This saves you a lot of money. You can do it yourself, but if you get a character into the team, they'll do it themselves and spend the money. So it's worth doing. So first of all, we come to the Great Sand Sea. And we are wanting land insector carapaces. We need four of them, although I think they already have one. Again, I'll do it in real time so you can see exactly how long it takes. And if you've been following the playthrough, you will know exactly where we're going. I'm so glad we've got the uh, sprint button. I think I might have mentioned this before. I remember when I first played this game, you couldn't sprint and it took forever to cross this. It's this dig point along here. If we get lucky, we'll get them first time. If we're not, we'll have to keep coming back until we do. I mean, we've already got some of these, but if you haven't got the character in your team, Come on out. then they won't add it to what they need. So we need four of them. 
Oh, get in there, Mr. Diggs. Landing sector carapace. We got lucky, we got nine. We only needed four. Okay. Excellent. I love it when you get stuff like that, when it works. I love it. And as you can see, up there. Landing sector carapace, got ten. Got more than enough. So now what we have to do, we have to exit and we have to go to the catacombs where hopefully we will get just as lucky. And we get the oil fly and the steel ore from the same place where we got the shadow metal from. If you remember when we first came here we needed two shadow metal. Well that's where we're going. Again we're trying to avoid all enemies. I try to avoid all enemies to keep my BR low until I've got all the units. And it's no secret you are allowed eight you do get eighteen units in this game and once we get 18 then we're not bothered about fighting so hopefully we'll get lucky and get everything we need just here Come on out. Hmm? Wow, we got one. Hmm? I think we might have enough steel ore, I think, I can't remember how many we got. So hopefully, when we leave here, we now as well have already upgraded the weapon. Check. Commander's Tabo's in, there we go. And that is a guild task. Those were the Titicata leaves we needed. There's a Commander's Tabo Zin, which Manaus has just upgraded to. See, it's Age of the Fortune. 
And we have a Marauder in the party. A Mystic Shield. And 30 treasure chests. See what I say about the treasure chest? 30. I think the next one is 50. So, well worth doing. So, now we need to go and interact with a character, Darian, which will start another quest. This fell here, all you've got to do is to bump into him. Bump like that. Well, we know where his hometown is. He actually tells you himself. So. We're not going to do that quest just yet. That just kicks it off. Uh, but this is where we're going to leave this video today. In the next video, we are going to be coming into the southwestern world. As you can see, I'm, I've put myself over it because... We're going to be doing some more guild tasks. We want to go for, we will be hunting three rares. So only, I've no idea how long that's going to take. Sometimes they spawn straight away, sometimes they don't. And we'll be, they will be guild tasks. We'll be getting some dragon eggs, which will be guild tasks. Um, and what else will we be doing? Oh, and we'll also, well, we'll be kicking off the Godwood grind, which I mentioned earlier in this video, to build up uh, our healing arts for later on. But like I say, that's in the next video. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button. Leave a comment, good, bad or indifferent. I do appreciate all of them. And maybe even consider subscribing so that you don't miss an episode. So, I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it.